Welcome back to the Shineers. We are on Mars in our test facility. I am setting up a, a generator hub, or basically an automatic generator system, where there's going to happen a few things. And I will be doing a bit of chip. I'll go through how I do it, and it'll also be available on Steam Workshop. Well, online on Steam. It'll be available on Steam. Now, what we are doing is... The generator, of course, will turn on and off depending on this bad boy here. Not that one or that, just just one I put in to have power. So, depending on this one, when how much power we have from this one, it this one will turn on. In here, we have an air, uh, a gas sensor. This one will feel. I have already named everything. This one will feel the temp, the, the pressure inside this little box, and if it's too high, it will tell us that this pump should turn on. Now, the flash is for if this whole line is empty. So we can basically just dump in a huge amount of oil, uh, of uh, coal of course, and if this one runs out, that one will flash for us. Pretty simple. So we have automatic turn on, turn on and off of the arc, of the generator, we have automatic uh, remove of gas, we have automatic flashing tour so we know what's going on. And let me just do the sun. Yeah. Don't want to do this during the night because hoo -hoo, the bloody well won't do that. So, let's do the first thing first. Let's pop in this one down. I have already pulled the cable around so I'll just quickly go through it. I have a sensor, uh, LEDs display. He might be under, he might not be under, but it's just to see the pressure in there. I'm, I'm thinking I'm going to remove him, but at least I have him for now. Uh, then I have a cable for the generator itself. <clears throat> it only needs a cable if, on this side, if you're going to pull out data. Then I have a cable for the pump. It's currently set to, I think, 50 is the standard value. It's a very cramped of space in here. Uh, come on. Yeah, 40, okay. Uh, and then we have a uh, uh, passive valve. I have my flashing light and I have my air pressure center. Outside, the pipe goes out and then there's a passive valve out there. Then I, in future I can put onto this one if I want to. So that's just going to be uh, un unfiltered gases. And then I have one here for all the gases. Now, we forget about that. We want to have, we want to take our little chip here. We want to pop him in there. So this is uh, the laptop that I'm using to program with. Uh, let me just... <coughs> so this is the laptop I'm using to program with. There's also a computer, but the computer is stationary and we don't, you don't, you don't really want that. Also the, the uh, tablet. It's a very good thing to have, so you can actually look on devices and see what, what's going on. Um, but not so important. Anyway, if there's anything on the chip, then you can import here. And then it will come in here, into the device. And when you are done something on the device, you will click on the export here. This export button that's right here. And then it will come into the chip. Right, let's go in, click it on the edit, edit button. Uh, hmm, that's an old one, I think. Wait, wait, go away with that. Now, so this here is the edit script for, uh, place. You can do it in here, which is what we're going to do. You can also do it outside of this is completely. We have, as you see, the library button. This is where you can store all your different uh, scripts. You can also c you can create a new one, which we're going to do today. You can have a downloaded one, like from I can't pick up my name uh, Chaos or Evil for example if he has a good one for Rocket for example you can you can download that one and have it here so that's one thing then you have clear it just clears out this entire thing copy you can copy it and yeah copy and paste it pretty simple then you have these three uh, four so the first one makes it transparent which is uh, nice in some way then you have the slot variable so everything you can get from slot is here wait then you have the device variable so it's the same thing as the slot it's more 
it's the um, you know like you have a best reader a uh, slot reader and a um, and a just a reader the, these are those, those two things those two different kinds then you have the functions so if you know in Excel you have you know if then that and all those things and loop and all those they are basically in here so in here you will find all the different uh, functions you can use in the in the programming language and they are all pretty self-explanatory like bats uh, register I want to call it random <laughs> but yeah bad register requirement and then so it, it, most of them are like pretty simple normally if it says have a set on the end it's so, something to do with zero so that, that that's a good one now we will put that away so let's go out and see what we're doing so first we want to do our flash because we want to know if there's something inside here so uh, before Let's start with all the aliases. So we do the we do our alias, which is determining wait for it's fill. We are basically naming our I'll just copy this. We are naming all our inputs. So first one is for generator. And that will be D0. Then let's say pressure. Sensor. Sensor. D1. And then I alias again. Mm, flash light. And then D2. Alias bump. And D3. I cannot spell. Alias display. This is the one you don't need. So feel free to leave it out. It's it's only we're only writing to it, so it's not really that important. I might actually scrap that one. We're gonna scrap that one completely. So, because we have we have a point we can read from without that one. So we're gonna ignore that one now. So, those four are the four devices. Then we need the 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 battery. So, define. Never start with capital uh, battery. Now. As we're going to do it to find, and we don't want to look just at that, we don't want to look at all the batteries, we need a the, the hash, the, the pre prefab hash. So, what do, 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 battery. And we want the station. You can also take the other one, but yeah. So here you have the prefab hash. You just click on this one and copy to clipboard. Lovely. Edit. Put it in here. Fantastic. Now, before we go to the start section, we want to do a, one more thing, which is we want to set our pump to 100, so we know it's going to take out 100 no matter what. So if you put it in, you can just connect the pump and then it's set to 100. So set pump and then settings 100. Now that's basically it. Before we go to a start section, setting. So export this. Let's take the one out here. Now all these names, oh, all these names that we just put on are here. So we have the pump. We don't have anything here because we moved the display. We have a flashlight, a f flashing light. We have the pressure sensor. So let's take out a screwdriver and do this while it's turned off because you can mess up everything in your base. So let's see, let's see. We want the generator here. So generator, so the fuel. Yeah pressure sensor so I named it generator sensor there we are and this is the flash light I named it generator flash I think yeah and the pump so that will be generator pump mm, yeah there we are <coughs> perfect now as you remember I put it put the setting on our pump to a 100 now if yeah, if you look here, down here it says setting 40. It's very difficult to see. Come on. Yeah. Uh, there we are. So it says 40. And that's the one we want to change to 100. Just so you know why I, why I take that. Uh, let me do it into my waste tank. There we 
are. Fantastic. Right. Let's get back into our little thing here. So, now that we have all our standard items, we want to do a start. And we want to do those two dots that I cannot remember in English, but you know what I'm talking about. We want to do a yield, because the program always wants a yield. It's to tell it has to repeat itself. Then let's already do a J start. And, and that's basically saying that you have to jump back up to start. But we don't want to see that. Now, we do the first thing first, which will be our um, flashing light. So to do the flashing light, we want to look at this one. We want to look at the quantity inside this one. So if I take this one up, e no, that's a slot. Uh, we want to look at the slot. So go into uh, to your program, then type ls for load slot. So we type into r0, which is register 0. It could also be, you, you, this is basically just a holding point, like a memory bit. Zero. We type in generator because that's the one we're looking at. So we can just copy this generator. We type in zero because it's port or it's slot number zero on the, the machine. On the machine, there can be multiple slots on a machine, but in our generator we only have one. So then we want quantity. Now, why do I know? How do I know it's quantity we want to look at? Well, if you go into the station PDF and you type generator, uh, solid fuel, solid, uh, yeah, this one. Then down here in slot, we have occupied, occupied hash, quantity. We want the quantity, we want to know how much is actually inside. If it's zero, that's not good. Or you can, if five is not good, whatever. It's like, you know, when you have a low amount, I, I put zero, you can put whatever. So now we know that the quantity is inside R1, R0. We can name this one up here, but that's just it's a waste of lines. So don't bother. Now, <clears throat> we want to do a branch register greater than. So these three, as you can see, it's a branch. So it's basically if or then. And we do a register. So it can be this one. It can also be a different register we're using. And then greater than. So in the first one, uh, we do R2, so, nope, <laughs> R0, so we do take this one, and we look at a different register. So in our case, we don't have one, we just put in a zero. We could have a register up here saying lowest amount, but we put in zero here. And then we want to do jump, so if this it's true. <clears throat> if this is true, then we're gonna jump. If it's not, then we turn on. Because basically it says if it's greater than zero, then do nothing. If it's not greater than zero, then we turn on. So set, which is the S, and we want our flashlight. Like and then on one. So if this if our quantity is less than, is more than zero, greater than zero, then we will jump past this point and we'll do nothing. If it's not, then we'll take this point and turn on the flashing light. The next one is the same, B R G G, and then instead of the register, we want to look at one. The reason why we look at one is because we want to be sure that we are one is greater than the register. So the one is also a register, it's just not a fixed one. And then we want to do the R0 uh, and jump again. So if this is true, then we're going to jump. If it's not, then we're going to turn on, uh, turn off the light. So set, that's light on equals zero. So here, if it is, if this one, if our register is greater than zero, we do nothing here. We skip past it. If it's not greater than zero, turn on. It's it's 
it's counterintuitive if you can say it that way. So, but but that's how it is. And here it's again, we, if it's greater, if one is greater than this, then it's then then our is zero, and we do nothing. If it's not greater than the resistor, that means we have more inside, and we can turn off the flashlight. Excellent. Let's export him. Pop him. And look at that. We have a flashing light. Great. Oh yeah, by the way, if you have an addition, you say, huh, I want to change the code. Then you have that alarm. Yeah, listen to that for like seven hours. I think you're going to get crazy. <laughs> anyway, next thing. So try to avoid the, the lines because this actually take up space. Uh, but I do... Like when I when I try, I, I do put in like stats together and then just kind of do that. The next thing we want to do is now we know that this one is empty. Then we actually want to close here. Well, we could have closed before. So before we do anything, we're gonna turn on the pump because if the, now we have a small room and if the pump doesn't work and this one turn on, then the wall will blow out. Not good. So, let's do the pump now. So, so we're gonna load into a new variable, so a uh, new register. We can use the R zero, but I might use it somewhere else. So I, I tend not to. So R uh, one. Then we wanna use the pressure sensor. Let's hit this bad boy up here. Oh, cancel. Hey, look at what I just did. If you make a type um, a, a type mistake, then don't uh, hit confirm. Right. So we're gonna load <coughs> into R one the pressure sensor pressure. So paste the pressure from the pressure sensor. It's going to be in here. S seems logical. Now. Then we're gonna do branch register less than. So if our register is less than something, we're gonna do something. Now we want our R1, and we, if it's less than 30, we're gonna skip it because then it's it's fine. Then we don't want to turn on the fan, the, the the pump. If it's, uh, yeah, but we're still gonna have the pump here. Because we we are basically gonna skip a line. This this one means we skip one line. We skip to dump line number two, which is line twenty here. That makes sense. Pump on one. So if if our re um, register one is less than thirty, then we're gonna skip. Two line, uh, we're gonna jump to line two, which is here. If it's not less than 30, which means that it's more, obviously, then we're gonna turn on our pump, and that means we have to remove the gases. Simple. Next, then we're gonna do a branch, branch greater than, and then again, the R, the R1. And here you can put in, let's say, whatever you think you want to do, like 10. I, that's what I do normally. So <clears throat> there's always a little bit of gas in there, but not completely. It's, it's, there's no risk of it blowing out. So you put that in there, and again, if it's greater than ten, then you do not do anything, because this is what's deciding if you're turning on or off. Now, uh, sorry, turning turning off the f uh, the pump or not. So if this is not true, it doesn't have to jump. Then we have to turn off the pump. Set pump on zero. So export, and I think it's it won't turn on because in there we actually have less than if we put it to 20, if we put this one to 20, yeah, export. So this one over here will be green. There we are. And now it's pumping out the gas in that little room. Fantastic.
and it will of course continue it because I've just removed it. But it's how it is. But next thing we want to do is we want to load the pressure into the DB. So load or set load set. Okay, set DB setting R1. What is the DB you ask? Well, export and I can show you. This is the DB. So this is like a display. Instead of having that, you can see that we have state one, state zero. Pop that in there. There we are. So that's the internal pressure at the moment. So it will go down to 10. And then that one will turn off. Perfect. Yeah, off of you. So that's why we don't use the display because we actually have one right there. It's uh, it's a nice thing to have. You can leave. We can. I will leave this one for now because it's a good thing to have it. Then you can always use it for something else you want to. Now we want our generator to run. So to do that, we need to know if this is empty or not. So we're going to do a load batch. A load batch is the same as when you do a load batch of a um, batch reader. Now, LB, load batch, and we want to do the next register, so register number two. So register, well, technically register number three, but we said two here. So we want <coughs> battery. So low slot battery, and we want ratio and we want average but the reason the reason we say average is because we are looking at multiple oh you kept it we're looking at multiple batteries not just one even though we only have one we might also be looking at this one or that one and you know you get the point all the batteries of this type so now we have the ratio which is basically like how much is left so, it's basically the same thing. We, we could copy this, but we can't, sadly. So, BRGT, so batch register greater than. So, R2. Uh, now, we want to do in percentage. So, if we are 0.1, which is 10%. Uh, then we want to jump. So basically, if it's greater than ten percent, then we're jumping. So we don't want to turn on the the. the ah, sorry, just checked. Um, yeah. So if it's greater, if it's more than ten percent, we are jumping past the turning on point. If it's not greater than ten percent, then we will. Sorry. Yeah, no, no, yeah. I'm, I'm, these, these greater than less than they sometimes confuse me. But yeah, if it's less than, if it's greater than 10%, then we jump past it. If it's not great, then, then we are turning on the generator. So set. Generator. On equal one. And then our. Uh, da, 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 da. That's less than. No, that's not what I want. That's greater less than. R2. And then we want. What do we want? What do we want? We want. Let's say 80%. 80. Then we want to do another jump. So until we are more than 80% full of power, then we're not going to do anything. But when we are, then we're jumping. Then we, not, then we stop jumping. Then we turn on the generator. Turn off the generator. I mean. Am I mumbling too much for this? No, I'm not. So, shit. Generator on zero. This will now turn off the generator. And technically, that is all. Yeah, that's all. Should be all. So, that's, that's on. That's good. You, uh, yeah, it's green. It's not running because there's no bloody code in there. You're gonna see it on the light up there. But I have some more here. Let me just put this one in a safe place. 
and light goes out. Generator is running. Look at that. He's on, and we can actually. Ah, uh, he's still on twenty. Ah, well, it doesn't matter. Question: If can you keep up? Hmm, seems like it. No, nope. no, you can't. Well, that's fantastic. Well, as you can see, the pressure goes up. Let's put this one to 40, for example. Not that pressure there. Uh, that's too much. I want to see how it turns off so I can show that. Let's put this one to 20. So now we have a ratio in here of more than 20. This one turns off. And it's actually working. Does it work as the basic could? Probably not. I could, I could add some things. But it's a, yeah, it's a start. Um, I will upload this to, uh, to the workshop as a first draft, and then you can have a look. And if there's any questions for it, let me know. It's th this is meant as a tutorial in terms of programming, and uh, I hope you like it. Anyway, take care, guys, and uh, see you next one. Happy programming!